Fixing a hole on an inflatable or an air mattress is pretty straightforward. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make repairs, plus my five tips for finding leaks and fixing holes on just about any vinyl inflatable. But what if your leak is on the fuzzy side? Patches don't stick to fur. I'm going to show you how to make that repair. Before I show you how to repair a hole on the fuzzy side and my five repair tips, let's talk about avoiding a hole to begin with. I use my air mattress mostly when I'm camping, so most of my punctures have been on the bottom side, not the fuzzy side. Here's a camping hack. Use some kind of pad under your air mattress when you're camping to protect it from punctures coming up through the bottom of the tent. This will save you some headaches. Here's another camping hack. It's actually these Easy Up Canopy sidewalls. I'll leave a link for these in the description below. If you don't have a set of these sidewalls for your canopy, you definitely need to pick up a set. Having this kind of shade and shelter when you're camping is a must. I use mine every time I go camping, even in the snow. Full disclosure here, I do make a small commission from this product, but I've been using this for years. Here's the hole on the fuzzy side of my air mattress. I have already located it using one of the five repair tips I'm going to show you later in this video. Before I can get this patch to stick, I need to remove all these little furry hairs. So we're going to use a razor and some soapy water. This is a brand new razor. Let's get started. So we're just going to keep shaving until we get all these little hairs off of here. A few years ago, I made a video similar to this. And I found that using a really sharp knife is also very beneficial. Use a sharp knife, use your razor, just shave off all those hairs. Make sure you can get it all the way around the perimeter. Once we get those off of there, we're gonna clean and dry this area really well. Before you can get the patch to stick, you really need to clean and dry the area thoroughly. I've cleaned the area with alcohol and now we're going to let it dry in the sun with a fan. All the little hairs are gone now. It's completely bald in this area. This is the patch I'm going to use. It's called Terraid. I'll leave a link below. Full disclosure again, I do make a small commission for this product. I'm going to go ahead and get this patch going here. I've cut two of them, one's round and one's square. Someone had suggested in a comment from a previous video to use a round patch so that there's no corners to lift. I actually think that's a really great idea, so I'm going to use the round one. This stuff is pretty much just peel and stick. You peel the back off, and we'll put him on there, smooth out all the edges. All right, and that's how easy this is. There's the patch all sealed up. You can see it's all stuck to the vinyl just as if it was on the side because it's completely bald. Let's move on to my five patching tips. Tip number one. My first tip is for finding leaks. Use plenty of water. This is not gonna cut it. Use at least five gallons of soapy water. Tip number two. Look for more leaks. After you find the first one, keep looking. Go over every edge and use plenty of water. Just look for the bubbles. Oftentimes, you'll find a second leak. Tip number three, after you find your hole, use your Sharpie to mark it so that you don't lose it. That's happened to me before. Tip number four, if you have a leaky seam, check out my previous video on seam repair. This floaty's been going for over a year. Here's the link. And tip number five, make sure you use the right patch material. I've been using this one for years. That wraps up today's video on air mattress repair on the fuzzy side. If you got value out of this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm glad you watched and I hope you'll watch again.